Today's geek moment is a dual band transceiver for mobile communications. And I'm also going to show you how to modify this to do expanded transmit capabilities past the amateur range. This particular unit is an Elinco DR635 dual band transceiver. It measures roughly five and a half inches across, about two inches height, and the deepest deepest setting is around seven inches, seven and a half inches. Pretty small, compact, powerful little radio that you can install in your vehicle or your home or a little go kit like inside an ammo can uh, which you could power with a external battery and take it anywhere I'm not going to claim that this radio is the best or the worst this radio in particular works pretty well with me personally uh, there are many models out there of uh, 2 meter dual band amateur radios but uh, they are all really are complicated I mean they, they are feature rich I mean you need a college degree just to program and use the damn thing but this one here is is somewhat basic and it's still got a few more bells and whistles that, that, that me as a geek would like so it has a little bit more extra but still it's simple enough for me to use and, and remember what all the functions do and all that good stuff uh, and the, the best part about this radio is the modification is so easy to expand the transmit capabilities and the transmit uh, the extra transmit capability is, is the uh, Mars cap modification uh, with that modification you could transmit on Muir's frequency that's 151 frequency range around there and also FRS and GMRS frequencies so it's illegal but when you're in a pinch you know you have an option there so the modification to expand the transmit capabilities is to take off the main lid the only lid that you can actually take off with four screws and towards the front where the uh, microphone jack is around this area here you're not going to see this cable in there that's another added modification that I did that I won't cover in this uh, video it's beyond the scope of what we're trying to do here I made this modification already a long time ago but for display purposes only there used to be a blue wire from this point to this point here you'll see the remains of it right here you just snip snip that wire apart uh, I recommend doing it from one side and then the other so the leads won't short out against the other components there but uh, that's all you got to do just snip that wire do a master reset on the radio and the radio is capable of transmitting beyond the amateur range uh, in another model that I used to have in a Yesu FTM 10R uh, the modification for that radio was to remove one of these little components let's say this particular capacitor here or resistor let me pick a resistor yeah this little resistor right there but it's, it was even smaller than that so uh, I could do it because I'm, I'm training soldering and stuff like that but uh, just for a regular hobbyist or uh, anybody else uh, it would be somewhat difficult to to take that piece off without burning the board and damaging the boards not only that looking for that particular resistor because it's not annotated anywhere in the board so this model here the Elinco DR635 they made it real easy to do that modification just snip the blue wire just like in the movies if you're defusing a bomb snip the blue wire or the red wire but in this case is the blue wire so here's a demo of the expanded frequencies FRS channel 9 it's coming out at the back of my antenna into my test equipment 19 watts 
five, four, three, five, full deviation. There's the frequency. There's my signal. Here's Muir's channel three. 151.94 I'm transmitting almost 40 watts now for the FRS frequencies the claim of uh, it could go 20 something miles that would certainly be true for this radio because it's transmitting at 20 watts on FRS uh, those other little handhelds uh, you'll be lucky if you get two miles but uh, you could definitely do it with this thing other features of this radio you could uh, scan two frequencies at the same time that's my main band right there I just switched it over and I'm going to scan the second band so I can scan two independent frequencies at the same time and here's the volume control for this main band here's the volume control for this sub band right here The only problem with all that power now is that uh, if you transmit at 20 watts on an FRS frequency, everybody and their grandmother is going to know because everybody and their grandmothers have one of those little walkie-talkies. So for operational security, that's, that's not a good thing. But if you're in your truck or a vehicle, you're driving around, and, and you could just put it on low power. So I just come over here, take it off a of scan, my high-low power setting. I just put it on low and the power on low power is 2.4 watts it's still quite a bit more than the specs of the regular FRS walkie-talkies to do so it, it'll still transmit quite a ways but uh, you won't be blasting the whole county but uh, I primarily use this just to listen to and I transmit on other frequencies that, that are uh, on 151 megahertz range and whatnot for other reasons but uh, this just to show you that this radio has now become fully expanded for more than, than what it was intended for uh, good piece of gear for your vehicle or home unit or a go kit this radio also has a built-in speaker it's not the greatest, uh, let me tell you. Uh, the sound quality doesn't sound too great. I use an external I use an external speaker through this one jack here uh, to listen to it. Uh, with, with an external speaker it, it sounds way better than, than the original built-in uh, speaker here. That speaker jack in the back there you could also plug in a programming cable. I got this off of eBay to program this particular radio and you can get the software I think there's free software uh, I bought a commercial software to program this radio here uh, and that makes life a lot easier to program all the features of this, of this radio uh, I recommend getting the programming cable and, and the software to program this radio Oh, please speak to me. Don't leave me.